reach, reach advantage, half-inch edge in height. Fighter who says that he believes a slow start in the sport. At one point, he had a record of four. Um, he's getting paid to do this, and there's just one guy for the circumstance you came from. you got to love it to do it because it's too hard otherwise. Marco Antonio Barrera. He's been Bomagonia. Barrera. Let's do it. As you in Anaheim. They touch gloves at the buzz. His legs are so skinny. Hard to this fire. <laughs> Hard right there. He thinks Barrera has trouble with South. Okay, is sort of straight up. He's backing straight back almost. And His reflexes are sharp. When an opening is there, he released Jesse Magania, who led with it, rather than trying to set it up with the Jets. Crowd rises. Magania backs up. Well, they always say, fire your right-hand lead against a South. Still target. Steadier in the last 45 seconds of the round. After. Statement that he's going to stay a while. Lives to fight another round. Marco Antonio Barrera. The one thing I like about Barrera so much is that he's so economical. That was a good left hand by McGonnell. Chin, although he was down in the bout. So that Barrera can start to land the overhand right. Power that you see in some dangerous fighters. But he hurts you and comes back off the ropes. See, you got to be right up there with your foot on. Gauge his arrogance, but you see it when he fights. Superb defense by Barrera. As you saw by Barrera. Defense, Roy. Set it up again. His defense is so well. He now realizes why Barrera is a champion back right there. That is very, very, very confident. Roll with punches. He's got the rolling shoulders. Just a... That other way, McGonagher down in the late round. He's, he's, had, he's had a better... Landing with the same degree of accuracy as the young Mexet. <laughs> McGonya with one punch. You gotta bust him up gradually. That's what Barrera those uppercuts. Yeah. What can you tell him? Nothing. Do what you're doing. Holder Marco Antonio Barrera on the white trunks and the challenger Jesse. This guy's but somewhere up there in the stands there. <laughs> Counter punches when Magonia misses with the big punches. Southpaw, they are so adjusted to you throwing the straight right until you have to stop. thing he would be careful to do in their rematch is to hit Barrera low. Inviting right hands like that. Agania landed a... What's your best performance ever against a Southpaw, Watch Roy? Watch it. Throwing the straight right. That's why Barrera can block it so easily. Now Barrera lures him back in. That was a good straight left by... Um... <laughs> to get all the way from Mexico to Nigeria for that. And where punches, this would be a very good fight. But if it continues to get... Right hand. That right hook is working Magonia so much until he doesn't... Up to the outside, then he can shoot the right hook or he can throw the straight right. Which he steps to the right to cut him off. There again, he steps it up, and he's wearing him out like this. Why back to southpaw up as eyes. Can't operate as well if they're backing up. So now, southpaws are accustomed to being... But you can see that Magania is accustomed to being the aggressor, as he told us he would be. Try to knock him out. That is great advice, because in this, they mean... Magania 9, Barrera 10, Magania 9, and so forth. I'm not going to give it to you. Ganya. Oh, there's another great left hook. Remember earlier, Roy, I 
I said a lot of people his trunks like that. Yes, he can. How does he expect to defend himself there? As you know, though, he leaves with the right hand more than he does the hook. Upstairs. A much more effective punch than a brief moment. McGarner is getting weak. Yeah. There's that right hook again. And he's he raised fighting. nine children. And, and he's fighting hard right now. Paycheck he'll ever get in the sport of boxing. He's never had it. As a hooking weapon or a jabbing weapon from different positions, but again. Yeah, in Magania's case, you mean it's roughly because, as Larry Merchant points out, Magania has a habit of war and use it effectively, and since he doesn't use it effectively, he might. When Magania mounts an offense. There he is. the slip it was a slip a slip of course we've shown you how Maganya keeps that right hand low he's doing about as well as you can do it and that's why so he's doing well here willing to be patient against so no guy here this guy has more heart and more courage than a lot of people well, as game as Magania is, again, it's hard. Which is one of his biggest problems. He keeps trying to... Well, of course, if you want to get that... Jab is picking up... Magania. I think Magania... I think he's hurt. Uh, I think... Oh. Magania catches a break. Well, certainly are. Unless it's a knockout and he has shown no ability through. Barring some... Unbelievable. We should point out in case you didn't see it that this is by no means as one side. Barrera willing to accept a little more leather. Magunia can land a punch that could drop Barrera if how easy it is for Barrera to step out the way of the big left from Magunia. Is exactly sound like a pep rally in there. <laughs> Why do you want to remind him when he's got a minute of rest? Some of it sometimes passes by, but most of the time I'm very able to focus between rounds. Do you well? You're taking a lot of punches. You might have a tendency to say. champion of the world, Barrera!